Hi, I'm Ellis Carroll, Technical Account Manager at Logi Analytics. Creating a standalone dashboard is one thing, but what if you want to integrate that dashboard into an existing software or an existing brand? Especially if you're using an analytics platform to accomplish this, the best approach would be to white label the dashboards that you build. With white labeling, a big key piece is brand consistency. Following suit of previously determined brand language, brand design, and integrating that into your dashboard design. The goal is to make it look like one cohesive experience. So what are some of the common mistakes with white labeling? Um, those mistakes are usually, are usually tailored towards the font. When you have an application, you don't want to use fonts, font styling, font sizes, um, and, and weights that are different than what your brand has already established. Another mistake is stepping outside of the bounds of color language. You don't want to use red, blue, and green as the colors on your dashboard when your brand colors are orange, blue, and silver. You want to ensure that you're following cohesive design etiquette and following the template that your organization has set.